Representation is a big issue across television and film. Who gets represented and what that representation looks like are two topics that are guaranteed to start a Twitter fire. But what does representation of communities and characters that usually don't get the spotlight look like beyond simply being present in a story? Rami is a new show on Hulu that follows a very particular Arab American Muslim family as the main character, this guy, tries to navigate his faith and, well, his libido. I got to sit down with the creator and star of the show, Rami Youssef, to talk about what authentic representation can look like. I do want to say two quick things. One, I actually don't watch Game of Thrones, even though probably everyone else does. I don't either. <laughs> you don't either? No. Oh. I just know. <laughs> When you think about representation, like what does that word actually mean to you? I think it's really important to find a character with a point of view and really live with them and sit in their problems. Uh, I think showing them at their most vulnerable, showing them at their weakest, showing them at their most flawed is the most fun way to represent somebody because we all have those weaknesses, we all have those flaws. I feel like um, the Rami character is designed for us to see our vulnerable selves. I, I don't really believe in, you know, giving someone from a certain culture three lines in one scene and then saying, you know, we did it, we covered it. Uh, I believe in giving that person an entire show, giving that person an entire episode, uh, giving that person, you know, scope to be in a scene in their problems without dialogue. So what is something that you really want um, the various audiences that are watching this show, yeah. what do you want them to take away? We did an early testing of this show that opened up at the mosque. All the people in testing thought the show was about terrorism because it was in a mosque and people were speaking Arabic. So this is the mindset that people are entering and I hope at the very least we've created something that shows people, people go to the mosque for a sense of community to solve their problems, to see their friends, that people pray and say Allahu Akbar, to find comfort, to find direction, to find guidance, and nothing more than that. Then who does Rami ultimately represent? How, how accurate is it even to your own life? I mean, I think right off the bat, a lot of the facts are different. He's not a stand-up comedian. That's probably the only thing that helps my family stomach watching the show, is that they're like, okay, at least it's clearly not us. Uh, I tried to imagine a family that was less communicative than mine. I tried to imagine a character that didn't have a creative outlet like I do, someone that was a little more stuck and that was a little more uh, in their problems. There's been a lot of chatter already on Twitter. Yeah. How do you respond to people who are reacting? You don't have to watch it. And, and I've never said that this would represent you or this would, I mean, the show's called Rami. You know, I, I think it offers something that hasn't been in pop culture in this way. I don't think we've seen a practicing Arab Muslim put that on display. And I do think a lot of this show uh, is algebraic, in a sense. I think, okay, we have a crazy uncle who says sexist, uh, homophobic, uh, anti-Semitic things. And if you are in an Arab family, maybe you have an uncle like that, maybe you don't. If you are in a Jewish family, you have that uncle who maybe says all those things about Muslims and Palestinians. If you are in a white family, you have that uncle who says those things about black people. I noticed how one of the cool things about the show is that, like, it's very unapologetically Muslim as well, right? It yeah. really normalizes Islamic practice in a way that's not like a caricature. Yeah, well, I mean, everyone wants you to have a good hummus recipe. When they find <laughs> out you're Muslim, they don't want to hear you talk about Allah. Like, that, that's a lot. Um, but I think, you know, figuring out ways to talk about it is a lot of what's behind the show, too. You know, how, how can we, you know, be as authentic as possible to, you know, wherever we're at. It seems like all the female characters in some way or another are kind of defined mm -hmm. by their like proximity to sex. Mm -hmm. And so I'm curious as to whether we're gonna see more female character development as the show goes on. I want more nuance for the women in the show. Absolutely. Uh, this show is called Rami. To already get two episodes that I'm not even in in the first season of a show that is based on my stand-up was like a huge coup. With the, you know, with the network. I think that we talk about sex a lot in the show. Um, sex is also a big part of the Muslim world, uh, but we're acting like it's not part of our daily lives. How do you respond to the idea that any representation of a community becomes representation of all, whether it's from that community itself, so Muslims may be watching this show and thinking like, oh my God, is this supposed to represent all of us? Mm -hmm. How do you respond to something like that? I, I feel for people who want to see themselves on screen. We don't have a lot of stories. Uh, at the same time, 
I think that to try and do it all uh, is really damaging. And I think what we do too is we, we hurt our creators because when something comes out and all that happens is like an onslaught of shooting it down, there is the black Muslim creator who's now a little afraid of taking a risk on their show. There is the South Asian creator who's a little bit afraid. There is the woman who's a little bit afraid because there's no way to cut it where people aren't going to be upset. So where does Rami go from here? I think he continues to expand. I think he, um, I think he starts to realize his hypocrisies in a deeper way. I, I think I want to see him uh, realize the way his actions are affecting other people in his life a little bit more. And also as a show, I, I really want to dive into more nuances of the people who are around him. If there's anything you want to say to our audience right into the camera. Oh, no, I, I'm, <laughs> I've never wanted to do anything to camera, ever. Really? Dead serious, yeah, it freaks me out. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that interview with Rami Youssef. Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, especially because we have a brand new pop culture show coming out at AJ Plus, hosted by yours truly. We're gonna be talking about all things pop culture, except a little bit of a twist. <laughs>